I've been meaning to put a warning on my website that, um, you know, sort of a disclaimer for safety, uh, that uh, I never would necessarily recommend that anyone follow my example on anything. This is just my own personal experiences with things. Uh, but in case I forget to do that, I thought that uh, for this video, I should probably verbally say that right now. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, and it's just experimentation, and there's trial, and there's error. Uh, I'm going to pull down a very large tree, larger than I've ever personally cut before. Um, I borrowed some of it. Wow, it twisted. That's probably not good. It's off to a pretty bad start. This has come along, which has got some twists in it. I should probably address that. Um, some of my chain, some of my neighbor's chain. Uh, the uh, come along is from my neighbor. I'm always borrowing things. I have very nice neighbors. And a bunch of chain here, which runs to this tree. It's a large cherry tree. Uh, I'm always very reticent to, to nip trees down. It takes a tree decades to grow and really only takes a few minutes to cut it down. So I, I give some fair consideration before I'm ever going to be chopping anything down. But the reason I'm pulling this one down is that up at the top, it's kind of rotted out. It's probably on a bit of its last leg anyway. It's also right next to the shed that I built. And a lot of the roots of this tree go underneath this outside area. So when that goes down, it's very likely to pull up a lot of the ground with it. Um, and I'm also going to put a little orchard here. Uh, so I figure if I'm going to take this tree down, I want to do it now because it's going to fall in this area right here. And this is where I want to put a lot of apple trees and peach trees and things like that. So, um, oops, black flies. Um, so today uh, I've got the chain tethered to it to try to control the direction of the fall. I'm going to pull it this way. Got to get that untwisted. Uh, then I'm just going to slowly uh, clip into the tree and keep ratcheting it down. And hopefully it'll pull over slowly. Ah. Oh. I hope that I don't do another video in a moment that shows some disaster that just happened. Cross your fingers for me. It's been about a half an hour and uh, part of the way into the tree right now. I've got kind of a short saw. It's a, a 40 volt electric chainsaw from Greenworks. Uh, I love it because I can recharge the batteries for my solar panels. So it's the green way of cutting down trees. Um, but it doesn't have a very long um, blade, I guess, bar, whatever you call it. So I'm having a little bit of trouble getting through here. I've been made, I made a few cuts. At the very least, they're sort of relieving tension uh, so that the, the saw is not going to get stuck as easily. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is maybe start hacking at it with an axe a little bit. Chop some of this out uh, from there, and then I can go in with a chainsaw and chop a little more out. And uh, try to do it that way, I think. My, my axe has been sitting out dry for a while, so I'm soaking it. And I just sharpened it on my... Uh, big millstone, uh, but I've got to wait for the, the wood of the handle to soak up some moisture so that it's not flying off of the, uh, the head's not flying off the handle. So that's the plan now. Cut, axe, cut, axe, cut, axe. We'll see. I think that it's really important to be able to manage a project like this on your own without having to uh, rely on the, uh, the infrastructure being available to you, either calling tree experts, experts, uh, I shouldn't joke, I'm lucky I'm not dead, uh, to, to help you or, or even, uh, you know, to have a chainsaw that runs off of gasoline. Uh, yeah, I didn't have to go down to the gas station and fill up my chainsaw because I'm fueling it off the solar panels that I have it, since it runs off batteries. Uh, granted, if the chainsaw ever broke, I don't have the technical expertise to, to repair it. It's an electronic device and, um, it would just be dead. Uh, but uh, a project like this could always be done with hand saws and, and an axe. And to be honest, the majority of the work I'm putting in on this one is, uh, is axe hacking work. Um, but the general message is I, I think it's just important to be able to manage this stuff on your own without having to uh, uh, rely on things that we all know may not be re ultimately reliable. So I'm very pleased. It's, it's gone very well. And, um, and it's just it's a nice feeling to know that I can take care of things, even what seems like a particularly large tree, although it's sort of an average tree, but for me it's a particularly large tree. It feels good to be able to manage that on my own. All right, so this seems to be working out. Just cutting in with the chainsaw, hacking out with the axe, then going in deeper with the chainsaw, and uh, just repeating that. So I'm going to keep uh, doing this for a while, start ratcheting down on the, uh, the tension there, and uh, Hopefully this all goes smoothly. Again, this is something I've never done before and don't really... Ooh, cherry. Tastes like cherry, the sap. I don't really know what I'm doing. Sweet.
Well, that went really well. Uh, you'd think that I either knew what I was doing or was just really lucky. Um, it's probably the latter. Uh, I knew a little bit about what I was doing. Uh, the only damage I had coming down, it came down exactly where I wanted it, uh, is just this one limb here, hit this small little knee wall and uh, knocked a couple of the, the, uh, the slate stones out. That's no big deal. I'll just throw them back in. Um, otherwise, whew, went perfectly down. There was no, no kickback over here, which I was kind of nervous about because I don't really understand what exactly causes kickback and I didn't feel like looking it up. Um, so, it, you know, it didn't, it didn't bump into the, uh, the greenhouse structure. So exactly straight down. What I ended up doing was uh, going through just, it looks like about 55, 60% of the tree ripped out. So it went really well. I'm sure there was some luck involved. I also kind of have a little experience, but never with something this big. I'm very pleased. And now I've got a crap load of cleanup to do and a bunch of firewood for next year. I'm already set for the coming winter, but the winter after that, this will be warming my house. And once I clear it out, I can put in all my fruit trees. I'm very happy. Thanks for watching.